Okay, so Lenovo M92P. You just bought this computer, and not this one, but the Lenovo M92P, which I'll post a picture somewhere, and you wanna put, put it in a nice cool case like this. So if you notice on it, it has proprietary uh, button con pin configuration for the power switch and the LED and all that jazz. So we're gonna show that right over here. This is actually the connector for the power, the power LED, and this other light, which I have no idea what it's for, but that's okay. So taking a look at that, you can't really, you could try to mod this thing where you could put it in there and do all that jazz. Yeah, that's not gonna work too well. But do you really wanna deal with cutting, splicing and everything? No, you just, want to plug it in and play your computer. So this is what I came up with. I took this connector and I plugged it in and I realized where the power button lines up and where the other lights lined up. So if you plug it in over here, it goes into this orientation. This connector only could go in one orientation. So it goes plugged in this way. Let's see if I can get a good angle right there. There we go. It goes in this orientation over here. So if you look at this orientation, this is how it's pinned out. So now I followed the wires and I looked how it goes. And the wires are as follow. So the white and the black is actually your power button. And that's how you turn it on and off. The, from what I gather, actually the green and the blue is actually gonna be your power LED button. So I did the power LED, I did the white and the black, and I plugged the power switch into there, turns it on. Did the blue and the green, and it turns it on. So if in this motherboard, if you look at the pinout, let's see if we can get that right in there. If you look, there's the pinout from the left side being where the yellow and the brown is. If we can get that right in there, from the left side being where the yellow and the brown is, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the white and the black, which is gonna be all the way to the right, minus that blank one, you're gonna plug that one in. That's gonna be your power switch. Now, if you want your power LED, you're gonna have to go with the blue and the green. Plug that in and make sure you have the power and the ground and all that stuff. Make sure you're having the right orientation. I didn't have the right orientation in mine, and that's gonna give you your power LED. So that's pretty much how it works. Now, the yellow and the brown, I'm not 100% sure what that is. Um, we've tried plugging in the hard drive one, and for some reason, that doesn't work. So maybe that was a diagnostic from Lenovo, whatever. If you plug it in, no matter what orientation you plug it in, it still doesn't pick up or doesn't read. So um, I think it's one of their diagnostics. I don't know. So the only thing about taking this motherboard and actually using the whatchamacallit, using their um, a different case from it, is that you will lose your hard drive LED indicator, which, I mean, that's not the end of the world. I mean, you still got your power LED. Now, also, this motherboard does not, ha uh, does not have a reset button. All it has is the power. So you won't have the reset feature over here, which really nobody uses. I mean, if you have an issue with your computer, hold the power button and turn it off. So it's real simple. So I just wanna do this quick video just showing you how to take this Lenovo power connector. When you're taking this computer apart, keep your power connector. That way you can trace out. Now in the event that this thing has some type of uh, resistor or transistor for the security feature, so you get these annoying error messages when it pops up, in this case it doesn't, then what I would have done is I probably would have spliced into the white and black and just kind of tied into there and just tuck this away. On Dells, you have to do that, but this Lenovo M92P, you don't. All you have to do is just plug in the white and uh, plug in the power switch to the white and the black, which we showed in the pin, plug the blue and the green, plug the uh, power LED into the blue and green, and you at least get those two functions. You don't have to worry about splicing into this wire, and you're good to go. The yellow and the brown, I'm not 100% sure what it does. Um, I really don't care. If somebody knows what it does, comment below. But for the M92P, that's how you do it. So um, this is a build I'm working on. I'll also put a link to this build once I finish it and get it done, squared away. But real simple. Real simple for anybody wanting to take a proprietary motherboard and put it into a contemporary case. So um, quick tip. Thanks.